Hey guys. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome sa isa na namang video. And today, hindi tayo makalabas because it's been raining all day here in Vancouver. So, dito lang tayo sa loob ng bahay. And for today's video, we're gonna fly again our very, our favorite drone, our DJ Avatar. Uh, but this time, we're gonna use the manual mode. Okay? And, uh, yeah. So, we just got our controller. We're gonna try the simulator. And, uh, tara, Let's see how it goes. So, I'm gonna do a screen recording to my phone. I've already linked everything. The controller, the goggles, and the phone. So, <clears throat> let's go. Okay, so... This is my... This is my second day actually flying. Uh, manual mode sa uh, simulator and so you know my first day was really frustrating yeah, I kept on doing rolls and and spins it's just I can't control the drone um, at, at one point I almost gave up and I thought um, <laughs> let me just return this this controller because I, I I think I can't learn it but I I did try to fly fly I was flying up to like midnight and I, at some point I finally kicked in like you know I, I was okay I, I figured it out and what helps the most is this guy over here this guy that's his YouTube channel, The Real Rahim. He uploaded a bunch of videos regarding um, manual mode tutorials, tutorials for DJ Alvada. And I tell you guys, he is really good. The videos are very informative. So if you're one of those guys that are trying to learn how to fly an FPV on manual mode like me, Check out his videos. All right, okay. Let us start. Let's start this uh, simulation. All right. Okay. okay. Let's go virtual. Stratus factory free flight, and there you go. Okay, so we're flying manual mode. We're just gonna try. To not crash for about five or six minutes. Um, normally, that's how long I would fly my avatar, anyway. So if I want to take like a decent video of um, for wherever I am, five, six, uh, eight minutes max. So uh, for this video, let's just make it short. Try to do a five-minute uh, fly flight on the uh, simulator, and let's try not to crash. All right, let's go. So I, I had the uh, the drone kind of showing like that because um, in real life, I'd have like a dot in there when I'm wearing the goggles. Uh, and <clears throat> so that serves as my, my uh, like the dot that I see in the in the goggles I even have that cross lines just you know to help me with my orientation of the drone so <clears throat> um by the way one thing that helped me really um, like in controlling the drone is one the rates now again there's a bunch of videos that you can watch online and there are a bunch of them that would recommend 
uh, a beginner's rate for your pitch, your yaw, so your sensitivity. So just copy uh, those ones that they have online and should be good to go. Um, so, and also the way you'd handle your, uh, what do you call it, the joysticks? So pinching, pinching is like the best, I think. Uh, when you're flying in manual mode, um, pinching is the best way to, to do it. Because um, then you have better control of, of, of the drone. So, <laughs> so masawa pa rin yung ulo ko. <laughs> um, so, it's really fun to to fly the DJ Avada, especially using, you know, like I'm I'm starting to appreciate it really more. Because your orbits are far better your your yaws your spins um your dives basically are far more superior of course with you just using the um the motion controller uh, even if you turn on your um uh the head tracking feature of it i mean still nothing compared to the dive that a manual mode can can give you right okay orbit 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 dive all right so let's try so the, when i fly outside um i don't what i I'm aiming for is basically having a very straight line so with the controller with the remote controller too it's so easy to achieve that because like look it's flying on its own right now and I'm not even touching it so you get that straight line instantly and then you just slowly control the drone for where you want to go so by the way um i'm still not very confident uh to fly my drone outside because number one there are uh several factors you have to consider when you're flying in a simulator there's no wind right so <clears throat> wind factor you have to consider that um number two glitches so sometimes when you're flying your drone you'd experience um you know it just freezes you you lose uh um connection and you know your goggles doesn't have any display anymore so those kind of stuff can happen so i think when i will fly outside when i'm i feel confident i feel ready what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go and fly it um somewhere that offers so much space an open field with tons of tall grasses that way when i most likely crash a drone it's still gonna be okay but hey, it's been what more than five minutes, I think, and uh, oh, it's pretty good sign I haven't crashed. So let's let's do a one more climb on the mountain, and let's do a nice dive. Let's go high. There you go. So, when you're diving at some point, you're like letting your drone sort of glide. 
which is in the air and then you just control it for where you want to go orbit this warehouse sort of house or building whatever this is and yeah yeah it's pretty fun it's pretty fun I can only imagine doing this um, in real life <laughs> I probably don't do this crazy maneuvers that I'm doing right now oh, there you go I crashed so there you go um, it was fun and uh, yeah that is it for me and uh, I'm gonna do some more practicing and see you guys in the next video thanks